Interestingly, an article written for Stella magazine in 2019 revealed that a young boy in Australia somehow knew private things about Princess Diana, despite the fact that the boy's parents never spoke to their son about Her Royal Highness. It all began when the parents received a card with Princess Diana on it. When their then two-year-old son saw the card, he exclaimed, Look, it's me when I was a princess. At first, they found this remark amusing, but as time went by and the little boy continued to make comments, the idea of reincarnation began to cross their minds. For example, when he saw a photo of Prince William and Prince Harry, he referred to them as my boys and my sons. Additionally, he claimed that when he was Princess Diana, he used to go to a castle in that kilted wonderland, and he described the castle as having unicorns on it, and that it was called Balmoral. He was quick to identify Balmoral Castle, a residence of the British royal family located in Scotland, among several photos of different castles. His father wondered, The unicorn is the national animal of Scotland, and there are unicorns on the walls, and how does he know this? He is only four years old. When he saw another photo of Princess Diana, the young boy told his parents, there's me as a princess. Then one day the sirens came and I wasn't a princess anymore. Aside from recognizing photographs, he also shared that when he was a princess, he had a brother named John. Both of his parents did not know of any royal member named John. However, after researching, they learned that John was Princess Diana's brother, who had passed away as an infant. As his parents recall, their son seems to have a supernatural connection. When he was younger, he did not sleep well. When asked why, the boy explained, pointing to the roof. They come and take me at night, but bring me back by morning. Whether in acts of charity or in pop culture, her Royal Highness Princess Diana left a lasting impression of elegance, style, compassion and warmth as the people's princess. May her noble example inspire us to treat others with affectionate care for a brighter, kinder world. I think the British people need someone in public life to give affection, to make them feel important, to support them, to give them light in their dark tunnels. Don't be near a vegan, you'll be infected with a loving heart condition. Benevolent viewers, thank you for your company today. Coming up next is Our Immortal Soul, Part 2 of 2, here on Supreme Master Television. In God's grace, may your hearts be filled with compassion and your days be radiant as the sun. Warning, Sensitive Images Non-veg? Eating the animal flesh won't hurt you? Surely not. Just cut a piece of your limb, and then you can feel the horrible pain. Russia, leave Ukraine or you reign now. Peace be with you too. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell 